Hello and welcome to this Zone 96 instructional video. My name is Spinzen, DJ product specialist for Allen & Heath. In this video, we'll be demonstrating how easy it is to use the Zone 96's internal audio interface with your Traktor DVS setup. We're happy to announce that as of Traktor Scratch 2.11.13, all Allen & Heath Zone mixers with built-in audio interfaces have been Traktor Scratch certified by Native Instruments meaning you no longer need to take an external audio interface and have to deal with the mess of connecting and disconnecting cables if you wish to use timecode vinyl or other media sources to control Traktor. Once you've done this initial setup described in this video, you simply need to connect your computer to the Zone 96 via a single USB cable. In this example, I'll be using a Techniques turntable for deck A and a Denon SC5000 media player to control deck B. Note that while using a Mac computer in this example, the same applies for a Windows computer. The only difference being you will need to head to our website to download the Windows driver. Find the link below in the description. First step is to ensure that your turntable is correctly connected to the phono input of the Zone 96. Now below each channel is a button. This is the USB line phono select switch which dictates whether the phono or the line input is routed to the internal audio interface's input. For this example, we'll make sure that it is set to phono for channel one. Next, connect your media player, such as this Denon SC5000, into the line input of the 96's channel two input. Because this is a line level source, we must ensure that the USB line phono select switch is set to line for channel two. Now, connect your computer to the Zone 96 using a USB cable. In this example, I'll be using USB input one. Open Traktor 2 and head on over to the settings. In the audio setup panel, ensure that Zone 96 USB one is selected as the audio device. Next, head on over to the audio output routing panel and set the corresponding audio outputs for decks A and B. In this example, I would like deck A to feed 96's channel one and deck B to feed the 96's channel two. In the audio input routing, we set which channels from the 96 inputs control decks A and B. In this example, I will set deck A's input to channel one left and channel one right, and deck B's input to channel two left and channel two right. You can confirm that Traktor is receiving the correct input by playing the timecode record and seeing the input meters displayed. Same with the line level source. If you do not see signal here, you may have incorrectly set the line phono select switch for each channel. Double check it. It's that little white button below each channel input. Next, we head on over to the timecode setup panel and ensure that scratch control is set for both decks A and B, and that Traktor is receiving signal from both left and right channels for each deck. You can see it on the scope here. The great part is that this whole setup only needs to be done one time after which Traktor will recall these settings every time you connect the 96, allowing you to use Traktor's DVS features in a truly plug and play manner. Now, with this easy to use solution for DVS, do you see yourself returning to DVS control? Let us know down below in the comments.